It's been a great week for Korean culture, with President Moon Jae-in praising BTS for writing a new chapter in K-pop history by topping the Billboard Hot 100 Singles Chart, which is a first for a Korean artist or artists. But while K-pop makes new strides, the same can't be said for another important feature of Korean entertainment, the film industry. A renewed COVID-19 wave in this country has dealt a heavy blow, pushing movie distributors to postpone the release of various titles. Even the opening date for a documentary film on BTS has been affected. Break the Silence, the movie, was originally planned for release in South Korea on September 10th, but has been postponed indefinitely, according to BTS's agency, although openings in over 70 other countries look set to go ahead on the 10th, with another 40-plus regions following suit on September 24th. The eagerly awaited blockbuster Space Sweepers has also been put on hold, starring Song Joon Ki of Descendants of the Sun drama fame, as well as The Handmaiden star Kim Tae-ri. Space Sweepers had been scheduled for release this month on September 23rd, but now its distributor is yet to elaborate on when it will be out. It's a similar story for homegrown comedy crime movie The Golden Holiday, which had been set for an August 19th release, and horror thriller animation Beauty Water, which was going to reach screens by September 2nd. And this has been a particularly harsh blow because the industry had hoped for a revival this autumn after enduring its worst ever period due to COVID-19. The combined revenues of movie theatres here fell 70% on year in the first seven months of 2020. After hitting rock bottom in the spring, the summer did show flashes of optimism thanks to the performances of zombie action film Peninsula and crime thriller Deliver Us From Evil, especially as South Korea had largely controlled its own COVID-19 outbreak. Last month, however, as cases spiked again, local theatres were pushed into a corner, reducing payroll and shutting down branches. It's a far cry from the dizzy heights of last February when Parasite became the first non-English language film to win the Academy Award for Best Picture. The movie's four Oscars in total completely broke new ground for the Korean film industry. But heavy is the fall after reaching such heights. To be fair, this isn't a uniquely Korean situation. Even the biggest players have been affected. For example, releases of Walt Disney's new version of Mulan and superhero movie The New Mutants have also been pushed back. Christopher Nolan's Tenet, which normally would have been expected to do very well, has been struggling here since it was released late last month. But from a Korean perspective, there's a worry that the success of Parasite will be a one-off unless the industry is better supported. The Korean Film Council organized a forum last month appealing for better strategies to ensure that the industry has a long-term future, something I'm sure most of us would like to see secured.